Let's make Sunday dinner together, and this week I'm making something really old school. Pigskin brajol, or the way we call it, brajola di codena. So let's get to work. I start by prepping the pig skin. I first cut it into eight inch sections, and I use the first section to sort of guide me to make them all the same length. Then I'm gonna use my knife to scrape the outside of the skin. This is how I was taught to make it. Now I'm gonna just mince up some fresh parsley. You wanna use all fresh ingredients in this. It makes a huge difference. I would say I have about four tablespoons of chopped parsley here. Then I'm gonna just smash four garlic cloves. I know it looks like three, but there's four. Remove the skin and set it aside. Now I'm gonna take each piece of that pig skin. And what you wanna do is put the fat layer, the inside of the skin, on the outside. I know that's confusing, but have the smooth skin side facing you, basically. You can tell the difference because one side is really smooth and the other side kind of has like a little bit of a bumpy texture. So the seasoning is salt, pepper, garlic. I just kind of spread it around, fresh parsley. And I just want to say that this is all to taste. So if you want to use more garlic or more parsley or more cheese, you can do that. Here I'm using grated pecorino and I'm gonna use a little drizzle of a good olive oil. Once you've done that, it's time to roll them up. Try to keep the roll semi-tight, and then you're gonna use some string to tie it in two places. You could do three places, but I think two places is more than enough. I tie it on one end, and then I tie it on the other and just cut off the excess. And this is what it looks like when I'm done. Now I'm gonna work on my Sunday sauce that I make literally every week. I start my sauce with onion, so I'm just gonna dice half an onion and into my Dutch oven, I add a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna sear off some pork ribs. Here I'm just building flavor into my sauce. Once you get a good sear on all sides, you wanna see that really brown, nice golden color. And some of those bits are gonna get stuck to the bottom of the pot and that's gonna be all the flavor. So I like to remove the ribs first, add in my onion, and then deglaze with a little bit of red wine. So I'm gonna let the onion cook for a couple of minutes, add in about a quarter to a third of a cup of wine. This is not a necessary step, just something I like to do once in a while. Once some of the alcohol is cooked out, then I add in my homemade passata, but you could use pureed San Marzanos, and you always rinse out that jar. Very important step. Add in some fresh basil, salt and pepper, give it a stir, Add your ribs back in. And now that's just gonna simmer on low for about two hours. Now I know you're asking, where did that pig skin go? It's not gonna get cooked in this pot. In my family, we actually cook it separately because not everybody loves that flavor. So once the sauce has cooked and it's almost done, that's when it's time to make coldena. Into a saucepan, little bit of olive oil, add in your pig skin brajol, and you just want to sear them lightly on the outside. You don't want to go too dark. And then once I get a little bit of sear on the outside, I'm going to add in the sauce from my big pot, which you can see in the background. This only takes a couple of minutes. Then I just take a ladle full of sauce and add it to the pan. Once you add the sauce, it may squirt up on you. So just shake that pan and you might get a little splatter, but it's cooking. It happens. Add a splash of water, and of course I'm gonna do that with my frozen movie plastic cup from my kids. Cover it, let it cook for about 30 minutes until it's fork tender. And there you have it, pig skin brajol, a very traditional recipe for many Southern Italians. This was my father's favorite. And so this video is in his honor. Making this dish takes me back to a time and place when I used to sit at the Sunday table with my parents, my aunts and uncles and cousins, and it was such a beautiful time in my life. And although we don't eat this way as often as we used to, this is such a special recipe and a traditional recipe that should be carried on. So if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next delicious recipe.